Hello and welcome to episode number three of Ring of Honor in 1970. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It wasn't meant to have gone in that weird accent. 1,533 people tonight. Of course, this is our local to global. In the 1970s, I hope you enjoyed Impact Wrestling yesterday. Because I sure how love doing it this morning for you. <laughs> yep, today we changed the picture. We've got Hanson and Ray Rowe um, taking on someone else. I don't know who that is. I don't know who they're facing in that match. But yeah, I've got... If you didn't know, <laughs> I've got... Because of what series we're doing, we've got uh, Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor, we've had them too. I don't know if we've had any of the others, but I picked that one today. I know we've had, you know, but there, I've got four pit, five pitches to rotate between during our early years. But I'm pretty sure I had decent wrestling with Emma Cheat, Billy Graham, Kevin Sullivan, and Team Bandit defeat Tetsu Ojima, Special Delivery Jones, who has been hired, and the Scuffing Hillbillies in 11 1455. When Kevin Sullivan defeated Special Delivery Jones by Pimple with the Devil's Stomp at 416. <laughs> uh, Rip Collins, 46. Chuck Connolly, 47. Special Review Jones 35, Tessie Ojima 43, Kevin Sullivan 36, Billy Graham 48, Greg Valentine 48, and Jim Dalton 38. Uh, Nowhere Cruz, as, as I've told you before, we have got the battle lines. These all got names, but they were named later on after the company grew in size when, you know, as years went on. But they were just known as the Super Shows. You know I've got them named, so I know which one's doing what to do. Special Review Old School Face, got showing very good. Um... No work improvements, 46D. Um, I will be making this announcement. Um, the uh, James J. Dillon and the Ring of Honor battle is continuing. All I've done is I've swapped people around in that feud. So people have been swapped. That is all that's happening with that. So you will have to be aware of that and just put up with it, I'm afraid. But yeah, we'll... We'll work that out in a, bit, in a bit. But 46D for the opening match. That's good. Um, a 49D plus. In a pre-show, I do some cheat. Gypsy Joe, Ivan Koloff and Nikki, Nikila Volkov defeat Jimmy Snooker, Jerry Jack, and Bill Francis in 13 video. And Gypsy Joe defeat Jimmy Snooker by a pin for the diving knee drop. In terms of around with Ivan Koloff, so the charge of an out, so I thought as much. Bill Francis, 36. Jerry Jack, 41. Jimmy Snooker, 44. Nikola Volkov, 42. Ivan Koloff, 56. Gypsy Joe, 47. Bill Francis in performance, 49D+. plus, Not bad. Let's open up the night with a 56C- minus, as we have Team Ring of Honor standing in the back. They, of course, got Bruno Sammartino, Carlos Colon, Dusty Rhodes, Rocky Johnson, Big Daddy, and Tony Mar Mar Marino, a.k.a. formerly known as Batman. This is a war that will not end, will it, J.J. Dillon? You want the power, but, but Gorilla did not do it for you. So this is how it's going to work. Carlos has agreed to swap with Rocky Johnson to go after the Intercontinental. So I want Cole off in four weeks. Ring up on a super show. I wait your response. Just a nice little way to open up. We've already got the announcement. I don't book anything for the house show. That's kind of just a bit of a fun one. Um, I'm just do, do, do. So yeah, we've all, you, you've heard it here that um, Rocky Johnson is going to be taking place. And he'll be facing someone I actually know how to say the name of. Al Psychedelic. Kurt Von Stryger. And then Carl Von Stromer. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> yeah, if I remembered that correctly, it would be a miracle. I know that I'm saying Stromer, right? But Stromer. Stromer. They're yeah, Russian. Leave me alone, or German. In a decent match, the Royal Trinity drew with the Dark Knights in 751, following a double counter. In terms of ringmate, Milman Scars has also blown up to 58C. Milman Scars 67, Dos Carlos 55, Kurt Von Stry Stryger 42, Carl Von Stroheim 42. Stryger, Stryger, Strawheim, I can say. Curve on Stryger in performance, good, 58C minus, not bad. We'll hear more about that later on in the night. In a decent match, Kenny Nakasaki defeat Trevor Guerrero in 816 by pin for the Ka Kamazaki roll. Trevor Guerrero 47, Kenny Nakasaki 54. Nowhere Cronus 53C minus. Nice little match. Happy with that. And James J. Dillon's backstage with Jack Booker and Ivan Koloff. And he goes, so Bruno, you want Ivan in four weeks? You've got it. He's going to take you down and bring back the Ring of Honor Championship to J.J. Dillon Enterprises. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say that J.J. Dillon Enterprises and the storylines we're doing J.J. Dillon Enterprises are very similar to what we're doing with the House of Hornet. Yes, in a way, they are similar to House of Hornet, but in a way, it's in a different year. Um, different people are in it, and 
this is not going to go the same way as um, this isn't going to go the same way as House of Cornet. The House of Cornet is a unique thing for Impact Wrestling. Yes, okay, they're very similar, but yeah, okay, they've started out very similar, but they're all going to be going different directions now. It, to bring in a stable, they're going to be very similar. In any company you do, you bring in a stable, except for Charles Crawley Circus, they're going to be very similar. <laughs> and Charles Crawley Circus is one of my favourite things I've ever come up with. One, because I can have Charles Crawley on my wrestling shows, and two, because I can have Charles Crawley on my wrestling shows. 47D, I have cleared out as well there. So Dos Carlos and Milmus Carlos, the Royal Trinity are backstage with Jack Book, and go, look here, you want to fight? Fine. We'll fight. Ring of Honor has given us a home and made us stars here in the US. And Mill goes, look, you idiots. In four weeks of the Super Show, it's going to be us going for the gold. And we will win and bring back the titles to Mexico. The Royal Trinity getting a bit high rate there. Oh, high rate, high rate. I'm dyslexic. Leave me alone. <laughs> anyway, let's stop using dyslexia as a reason you can't talk. The fact you can't talk is probably because you're an idiot. And that's about it. Yes, but Carl von, Kurt von, Kurt von Strawheim and Kurt von Stryger will be in action at the pay-per-view, defending their tag team gold against the Royal Trinity. The 42D from those guys, not bad. In an extreme short match, James J. Dillon Enterprises, Al Psychedelic, the Destroying Grilla Monsoon, defeated Team Ring of Honor, Rocky Johnson, Carlos Colon and Big Daddy. In 5-18, when the Destroyer defeated Big Daddy by Pimple. Tis Ringwick, Gwilym and Seaman's head and shoulders went up to Al Psychedelic, Lots of Weakling, Shunky, Valsman, and Performance. Big Daddy, 59. Carlos Cologne, 49. Rocky Johnson, 57. Gwilym and Monsoon, 79. The Destroyer, 69. And Al Psychedelic, 38. Carlos Cologne in performance and Al Psychedelic in performance. Pre booking, um, because it is the store that I'm going for. Sadly, Big Daddy, I absolutely love you. Um, I've mentioned this numerous of times. I absolutely adore Big Daddy. Um, he is 40 at this in this era, which is, Jesus, <laughs> thank you, as you can see, he's over like fucking wildfire over in the UK, um, but yes, he he is going to be fabulous face, um, the Destroyer, who reminds me of Dr. X, if you don't know Dr. X, he's going to watch the 1934 series, sadly he's fucking still injured, and I need him back, <laughs> all my plans for that storyline's gone, in a bad superb wrestling and great heat, Killer Kowalski defeat Tony Marmoreau, in 738 by Pimple with a diving knee drop. Killer Kowalski 75, Tony Marmoreau uh, 657. Noah Grimms, these two have great chemistry, so free be modest. A video plays hyping up Roddy Piper versus Bruno Sammartino. And in a decent match, Bruno Sammartino defeated Roddy Piper in 1433 by Pimple the Sammartino slam. He makes the number 9 of his Ring of Honor Championship. Roddy Piper 42, Bruno 72. Noah Grimms. Not what I was hoping for from you, Roddy. In a decent post-show match, Ollie Anderson and the Blackjacks defeat Dusty Rhodes in the oncoming Storm in 15 minutes 13 when Ollie Anderson defeat Joe Lawler by a diving knee drop. Terry Funk 48, Joe Lawler 44, Dusty 66, Ollie Anderson 50, Blackjack Mulligan 49, Blackjack Lanza 64, uh, Blackjack Mulligan in Rumble. That's where we end tonight's show. We're 64C, increase our popularity in two regions. That is all we can say as for. From these guys. We'll see you next week for another edition of Ring of Honor Wrestling. Once again, we're live with Ring of Honor Wrestling at the NY Expo Center at Madison Square Garden. We're going to go back to our venue we've been, we should be using every week anyway, because we're on the Madison Square Gardens network, so it only makes sense. And a pretty sure our decent wrestling middle didn't have much heat. Bill Francis and Billy Graham in 1457 by Pimple. Uh, Bill Francis 36, Billy Graham 47. Uh, Bill Francis in performance, 45D. Ring of Honor. In a pre show, decent wrestling moment cheat, Nicola, Nicola, Nicola Volkov defeat Jerry Jarrett in 1516 by Pimple, the Russian backbreaker. Jerry Jarrett 41, Nicola Volkov 44. These two have great chemistry showed in their performance. No occurrence 44D. In a pre show, decent wrestling moment cheat, Trevor Guerrero Jr. Jr.? Trevor. I'm thinking of Ring. I'm, thinking, <laughs> I'm not doing WCW, Josh. You're doing fucking Ring of Honor. Um, Trevor Guerrero defeated Ollie Anderson in 1445 by Pimple the Moonsault. Uh, Ollie Anderson 48, Chavo 49. Trevor Guerrero in performance, 51D+. Plus. Not bad. Eww, shitty, shitty bum bums. Um, Big Daddy, Dusty Rhodes, Rocky Johnson and Bruno Santini are backstage. When Ivan Koloff, the Al Psychedelic is a destroyer and Gwilla Monsoon enter and a massive brawl in shoes and weapons and everything get involved into, until security comes to split them up. You can tell I've written this, can't you? 
50 D plus. I thought we were, I thought we were gonna have a quite a nice chaotic show tonight, so we have got a nice chaotic show. In above our DC Rest of Vandal Jeep, Tetsu Vegeta special delivery drones, Jimmy Snooker, Mil Muscat Starts Cast, Deville Carl von Strawheim, Kurt von Kurt von Stryger, Gypsy Joe, Calvin Sullivan, and Roddy Piper. In 08 when special delivery drones defeated Roddy Piper by Phil the Headbutt. Do you realise Roddy Piper is only 17 years old at this time in the universe? Anyway, special delivery drones was really off his game. Now's quality in the colour come together match of boost. Uh Dos Car is fifty one, Milmer's car is sixty four, Jimmy Snooker forty two, special delivery Jones. 32, Tessio Fujima 42, Roddy Piper 43, Kevin Sullivan 38, Gypsy Joe 49, Kurt Von Stryger 45, and Carl Von Strawheim 43. Kurt Von Stryger informs the special delivery Jones in Rumble, a 52D plus to open up the night. It's always annoying when you've got to go through 10 people. In this special attraction, a champion versus championship match, champion versus champion match, in a decent match, Big Daddy defeat Al Psychedelic in 746 by Pin of the Belly Butts. Following interference from Rocky Johnson. Al Psychedelic, 40. Big Daddy, 62. No work Brooks, 56 C minus. Uh, Big Daddy celebrating his victory in the ring. The destroyer runs an attack speed and bent Big Daddy down. As I said, a chaotic Ring of Honor episode. Um, Carl von Strawheim, Kurt, Kurt, Carl, Carl von Strawheim, Carl von Straw. Kurt von Strawheim, Carl von Strawheim, and Kurt von Strager are backstage getting interviewed by Jack Book, aka the Knights. The Dynasty Knights, or whatever they're called, the Knight, Knight Temple, or whatever. The Dark Knights, there you go. You want to face these two, you're forgetting one thing. They are the most dominating tag team in Ring of Honor. If this is a war you don't want to be a part of, how about you pack your bags and go back to Mexico, where you belong? Ouch, 43D. I don't think this show's going to be that good, but there you go. In a good match, team Ring of Honor, Carlos Colon, Dusty Rhodes, Rocky Johnson, Tony Marino, defeated James J. Dillon Enterprises, Ivan Koloff, Brillable on soon, the destroying Ken Nakasaki. In 803, and Tony Marmo defeated Kevin Nagasaki by pinfall. Tony Marmo, 60. Rocky Johnson, 56. Dusty Rhodes, 65. Carlos Cologne, 49. Kevin Nagasaki, 54. The Destroyer, 71. Willem Monsoon, 68. Ivan Koloff, 62. Monsoon and Flying and Nagasaki in Rumble, 66 plus. Uh, Tony Marmo sustained a rib fracture. Thank you, Buddy Lee. <laughs> in about a decent rest of the Team Bandit defeated the oncoming Storm. In 736, when Greg Valentine defeated Jerry Lawler by pinfall. Tay Funk, 50. Jerry Lawler, 45. Greg Valentine, 45. Jim Dalton, 40. Uh, Jim Dalton and Rumble and Jerry Lawler and Rumble, which is not bad. Nice little tag team match there. And your main event of the night will be Killer Kowalski taking on Bruno San Martino with the Ring of Honor Championship on the line. I like to do my voiceover. In a battle of fantasy and great wrestling, Bruno San Martino defeated Killer Kowalski in 1440 by pinfall. With a San Martino slam. Bruno San Martino makes it on number 10 of the Ring of Honor Championship. Killer Kowalski 77. Bruno San Martino 69. Uh, Killer Kowalski and Gullam are soon a good pair. And these two have good critical chemistry. No equipments. And then after the ma match, I don't know. What the hell? That is not what was meant to happen. Makes no sense. It was meant to be Ivan Koloff. Anyway, we'll ignore that angle. Um, in a police and post show match, the Scoff and Hillbillies defeated the Blackjacks in 1435. When Chuck Connolly defeated Blackjack Mulligan by pinfall. Rip Collins 49, Chuck Connolly 56, Blackjack Mulligan 54, Blackjack Lanza 65. Uh, Rip Collins in Technol. That's where we end tonight's show. We're a 68C plus. Increase our popularity in two regions. I'll see you guys again next week for another edition of. Oh no, I won't. I'll see you tomorrow night for Ring of Honor House Show. Due to injury, tonight's show had to change a little. But welcome to Ring of Honor House Show. In front of 2,224 people tonight at the NY Tate Ring. It's not televised. This is just a nice little house show for the fans. In the decent match, James J. Dillon Enterprise, the Destroyer, Kendo, Al Psychedelic, and Grimm on soon defeat Team Ring of Honor. Dusty, Rocky, Carlos, and Big Daddy in 1457 when the Destroyer defeated Carlos Cologne by pinfall. Big Daddy 60, Carlos 49, Rocky 54, Dusty 65, Monsoon 63, Al Psychedelic 36. And they're like 50 and the Destroyer 72. Destroyer and Rumble, Dusty in Performance and Rocky Johnson in Thoughts. Uh, 61C. Not a bad way to open up the night. In about a decent rest in Madame Cheat, Roddy Piper defeated Chava Guerrero in 945 by Pinfall. Chava Guerrero 51, Roddy Piper 39, Roddy in Performance of 47D. Just throw that one out there. In a decent match, the Dark Knights defeat the Oncoming Storm in 1503 when Carl von Strawheim defeated Toe Funk by Pinfall. The Dark Knights make defense number 7 of their Ring of Honor tag titles. Toe Funk 50, Joe Lawler 42, 
Kurt von Stryger, 48, and Carl von Strawheim, 42. Kurt von Stryger in Rumble, 47D. Uh, the Dark Knights celebrating a victory, and then the Milman Scars and Dos Carver come out and attack them. You know, to get to continue that storyline a bit. You know, of course, the you know the no one else is going to get to see that angle, so it's a bit of a oh, you know exciting angle for the fans who are watching. But it's brilliant, awesome. Thirty-one E plus can't complain. In a good match, actually, this is to bear in a point it was Ivan Koloff and Killer Kowalski defeated Bill Francis and Bruno Sammartino in 2204, where Ivan Koloff defeated Bill Francis by pinfall the Russian sickle. Bruno Sammartino seen as going good and soon. This is a good work. Killer Kowalski and Gunnar was soon a good pair in the playoff feature. Well, Bruno Sammartino 65, Bill Francis 37, Killer Kowalski 70, Ivan Koloff 64. Bill Francis in performance, which is what I wanted, but um, this coming week on Ring of Honor Wrestling, Ring of Honor TV. The main event will be a handicap match. I haven't done a handicap match in any of my companies, I don't think, since the recoming back. I might have done, I might not have done, I don't know, but it will be a handicap ma match. As Bruno San Martino will, I was going to do it for this house show, but it didn't make sense. But it will be a handicap match as Ivan Koloff and Killer Kowalski will take on Bruno San Martino on Ring of Honor TV this coming week. But yeah, that ends this tonight's show. That's 60C, increase the following in one region. I'll see you guys live once again. Bring on the TV this coming Thursday night. I ain't done any pre show matches or anything tonight. I'm just going to go straight in with the show because that's how I feel. I feel like we should get straight on with the show tonight, you know. So, no pre show, no post show, no bullshit. Just some great Ring of Honor wrestling action. Are you ready? Because <laughs> I am. Um, so, we open up the night with Carl von Strawheim, Kurt von Stryker, and Kurt von Strawheim and Jack Book. Kurt and a Kurt and a Kurt. And of course, Kurt talks. Um, Kurt is the manager, and he's going to be talking. Uh, Kurt von Strawhe Strawheim doing better performance than Carl von Strager doing better performance skills. Awesome. Right. Ring of is stupid, and so is Milton Dobbs. In two weeks, they'll face my two soldiers for these belts. We are going to destroy them, two lucha idiots, and send them back to EML broken into pieces. You see, this is your Ring of Honor tag team, and they're going to be for a long while yet. Celebrate your drink for the first angle. Not going wrong. It makes a change for me. <laughs> um, in the pool match, Roddy Piper defeated Bill Francis in 741 by Pinball. Bill Francis 35, Bill Roddy Piper 44. No occurrence, 42D. Just a quick little nice match. In a decent match, Team Ring of Honor drew with James J. Dillon Enterprise on our psychedelic. Um, and you can see which you know version of this. Uh, Dusty 63, Rocky Johnson 56, Big Daddy 61. Ken and Nagasaki 55, the Destroyer 72, now Psychedelic 39. Rocky Johnson in performance, Kendo in Rumble, and Big Daddy in performance, 64C. And after that, James Ninja and everyone rushes backstage to reviving Paul off and getting food by Jack Book. You're looking at your future world champion. In two weeks at the Super Show, we're going to go out there and leave with the championship. It's looking like Ring of Honor is falling apart where the battle lines have been drawn. And now it's my time to shine. You see, I'm one of the most underrated in industry. Managers in the industry, and tonight I prove why. So, yeah, the battle lines are drawn is a hint to what this page would later become known as. See, I hint a little stuff in my promos. Um, Daddy and Soul Man, aka Rocky Johnson, and Psychedelic and Destroyer backstage. They have, there's another back, mass backstage rule. As I say, I'm trying to hint at the Ring of Honor falling apart because of James Street and then Fires and all these brawls that are going on. In the Bavo, good wrestling and decent crowd, Carlos Cologne defeated Guillermo Monsoon in 741 by following by a pivotal following the defense from Dusty. Uh, Carlos Cologne 47, Guillermo Monsoon 79, no air close 56 C minus. There is a reason for that loss, by the way. In the Bavo, good wrestling and decent crowd, the Royal Trinity defeated the Blackjacks in 824, and Dos Carlos defeated Blackjack Lanza by pivotal the Dos Carlos clutch. Uh, Blackjack Mulligan 55, Blackjack Lanza 63, Milmas Carlos 68, Dos Carlos 52. No work for the 61C. Uh, Dusty Rhodes and Guillermo Cena backstage. No one breaks out on these two stars. Warning of each other. Um, or we'll go for the better one for this. I'm going to put it into battle lines of the drawn now. Guillermo Cena's pissed off and Dusty got involved in his match. And so Dusty, you know, he's gone, right, okay, you're going to get involved in my match. So Dusty, next week, you know, I'm going to kick you off. Fucking ass. Um, basically. Um, so where is he? Monsoon. I ain't got a very big roster. I'm quite. I'm happy with the size of my roster, and I've looked around. There's no one else I want to hire. So, 
Monsoon versus Dusty. Dusty's gonna fight. 29D plus, not bad. Um, in a superb match, um, Ivan Koloff and Killer Kowalski defeat Bruno San Martino in a handicap match. In 14 minutes 44, and Ivan Koloff defeat Bruno San Martino by pin with a Russian sickle. Bruno San Martino 69, Killer Kowalski 71, Ivan Koloff 65, Killer Kowalski in good for Lemon Sinical pairing. No work for him, it's a 67C plus. Uh, 63C, and that increases our popularity in two regions. Of course, that is New England and Tri States. We'll see you guys live again next week for the Go Home edition of Ring of Honor Wrestling before we hit the Backlines of Drawing or the Ring of Honor Super Show as they are known at the moment. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow night is our end of the month Super Show, which, um, as we get in, we'll probably call it the Backlines of Drawn. And on that night, you can have Dusty versus Gulla Ivan versus Bruno, uh, Rocky Jones versus Style Psychedelic, Joy Stroy versus Big Daddy, and the Royal Trinity versus the Dark Knights. Now, I'm not going to be doing. I did say when I originally did this series that we we're going to do three months and then stop. We're not. We're going to be doing a month in each episode. That way I don't get all behind with my wrestling because you've got 1930s, you've got WCW, 1930s, Impact Wrestling, 1987. So you've done it. We're going to have an entire month in each one. So tomorrow will be the last part of this episode. Hey, hey. In a decent, match, in a decent preacher match, the Black Jacks and Dark Knights defeat the oncoming Storm in the Royal Trinity in 1440. When Blackjack Mulligan defeated Mil Mascaris by pinfall with a lariat. Uh, Mil Mascaris 65, Doscaris 49, Terry Funk 49, Jerry Lawler 42, Kurt Von Stryger 47, Carl Von Strom, Strawheim 44, Blackjack Mulligan 47, and Blackjack Lantern 62. Blackjack Mulligan in performance and Kurt Von Stryger in performance of 55C minus. In a British Rider Wrestling, the Dynamic Cheat, Nicola Volkoff defeated Carlos Cologne in 1510 by pinfall with a Russian backbreaker. 1,690 people at the Expo at Madison Square Garden tonight. Carlos Cologne 51, Nicola Volkoff uh, 39, 49D plus. Um, the Royal Trinity in the Dark Knight is backstage. They have a massive brawl and open up the night, 33 plus. Just going to call it out there. In a good match, James J. Dylan Enterprises, Gullim Monsoon, Al Psychedelic, and the Destroyed defeat Team Ring of Honor, Big Daddy, Rocky Johnson, Dusty Rhodes in 801. Then Gullim Monsoon defeat Big Daddy by pinfall while using the ropes for leverage. Uh, Dusty Road 63, Rocky Johnson 58, Big Daddy 57, The Destroy 68, Al Psychedelic 38, Gwilla Monsoon 80, Rocky Johnson in performance 65C. Uh, in a decent match, the Scuff and Hillbillies defeat Team Bandit in 754, when Rick Collins defeat Greg Valentine by pinfall. Rick Collins 53, Chuck Connolly 55, Greg Valentine 44, and Jim Dalton 38. Uh, nowhere for 51D+. Bruno's backstage, and he goes, it's going to happen... When I'm, it's going to happen, I'm going to kick ass and beat up Ivan Koloff. Tomorrow night is going to be the best show we've done. And when I get to defeat the biggest idiot in Ring of Honor, Ivan Koloff, we'll see. You'll see tomorrow night. 22B minus, and then we have a hype video for Gwyneth Monsoon vs. Dusty tomorrow night. And it's poor match, Roddy Piper defeats Special Delivery Jones in 546 by Pinfall. Special Delivery Jones 36, Roddy Piper 44, and now we're playing 48D+. Plus. In above at DC Wrestling, Roman Chief, Billy Graham, Gypsy Joe, Kevin Sullivan, Ollie Anderson, and Kenan Nakasaki defeat Tessia Fujima, Jimmy Snooker, Joey Joe, Chavo Guerrero, and Bill Francis at 735 when Kenan Nakasaki defeat Jimmy Snooker by pinfall with a Kamazaki roll. Bill Francis 40, Chavo Guerrero 48, Joey Joe 40, Jimmy Snooker 44, Tessia Fujima 42, Kenan Nakasaki 51, Ollie Anderson 50, Sullivan 40, Gypsy Joe 46, Billy Graham 47. Ollie Anderson and Rumble and Flying, Gypsy Joe in Performance, 48D+, plus, not bad. The main event of the night is Travo and San Martino taking on the Russian Bear and Killer Kowalski. Of course, Ivan Koloff. In a good match, Trevor Gray and Bruno San Martino defeat Ivan Koloff and Killer Kowalski in 1526 when, Ivan, when Bruno defeat Ivan Koloff by playing the San Martino Slam. Uh, Bruno San Martino, 71, Trevor Gray, 45, Killer Kowalski, 71, and Ivan Koloff, 66. Bruno and Flying and Ivan and Klein. Don't know why Trevor didn't improve anything. That's what I was hoping. 68C plus gets 65. We've increased popularity in 11... What the... How? Why we increased popularity in 11 regions? Um, I might know, actually. Because I do know... I've, I've, I forgot about this. I remember, I remember looking at it the other day. You can set up um, certain broadcasters and change over time. So I'm going to stay on the channel for a minute. Um, so Josio Crintono, all those are still wrestling with 
constant cons consists entirely of headlock and nothing else, and his menacing nickname suggests he's a man not to be messed with. Josie O'Quintone is actually a pretty reliable in in Richmond town, locking in almost lacking in almost every department. It doesn't seem to stop Quinto being popular amongst promoters of arrests. Even fans known to yell, "You gave me a fast count, you son of a bitch!" At the referee, and he invariably lost the match to the delight of the crowd. One of the more amusing stories outside of the ring concerns a house owned by Eddie Sharkey in which he rented out to professional wrestlers. Although the house was full, Eddie rented out a closet in the Harley Races room <laughs> to Josie O's somebody. Anyway, uh, Sky Low out. Okay. So, yeah, we going to be broadcast tomorrow night, which is typical. I don't let you guys really know that side of things because I don't like it to clash with you guys. You know, it would in real life. Um, but, yeah, why have we... Increased popularity in that many regions. So the Madison Square Garden network has expanded across the entire United States. Because before, it was very low here and very low there. And now it's medium. Everywhere. Well, I ain't going to complain. Obviously, that's one of the things somebody set up in this database which expand. I've been watching a few of the other promotions do this as well over the past few days. So ladies and gentlemen, obviously, I probably did that without thinking. But I don't remember doing that. But yeah, anyway, so that's why we're going to get have more coverage. We've got the entirety of America covered. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys on tomorrow night for Battle Lines Are Drawn, a.k.a. our super show. Thanks for watching. Hello, we're live. It's Battle Lines Are Drawn, 1971, or Ring of Honor Super Show, um, as they were known. 2,668 people have packed out the Staten Island Pavilion tonight to watch this great show. Not sold out because it holds 3,000, but it's close enough for me to go. I'm happy with that. And I'm not going to round it up to the nearest 100,000, which is sold out, like WWE do. Or fuck up The Fiend, which is the greatest thing they had. Anyway, um, Dennis is back. Dennis and Jim, of course, are inside. And they go, hello, and welcome to our end of the month super show, where we put all the titles on the line and stack the deck. Tonight is no different for us inside the Staten Island Pavilion. Jim goes, Ring of Honor is a war zone at the moment. JJ didn't enterprise as a team Ring of Honor at loggerheads. And this goes first, Big Daddy and the Destroyer for the global title. 51D plus. And a good match to destroy defeat Big Daddy in 15 12 by submission with a figure four leg lock after inference in, uh, after interference from James J. Dillon. The Destroyer wins the Ring of Honor Global Championship. Uh, the Troy 67, Big Daddy 59, Noah Career 66C plus. And above a decent rest of MMG, Roddy Piper defeat Tessier for G Men 731 by Pinfall. Roddy Piper 40, Tessier for G Men 47, Noah Career 46D. In about a decent match, we're going to cheat the oncoming storm defeat Team Bandit in 934 when Terry Funk defeat Greg Valentine by Pilder Pile Driver. Terry Funk 49, Jerry Lawler 46, Greg Valentine 42, Jim Dalton 39, No Work Prince 47D. In about a decent match, we're going to cheat Oli Anderson defeat Luo and Bala Albano in 745 by Pilder Diving Knee. Oli Anderson 47, Luo Albano 42, No Work Prince 46D. If we get to some good wrestling. In about a decent wrestling with a match heat, uh, Gypsy Joe defeats Special Delivery Jones in 802 by people with a diving knee drop. Special Delivery Jones 34, uh, Gypsy Joe 49, no opponents 45D. In a decent match, Al Psychedelic defeats Rocky Johnson in 1502 by people with a plancher. Plancher, Al Psychedelic makes it to number 8 of his Ring of Honor and Fun Championship. Rocky Johnson 55, Al Psychedelic 39, Rocky Johnson in performance, a 52D. Plus. Not the best match for the in the common title, but we'll go with it. In a decent match, Carlos Colon and Trevor Guerrero defeat Ken and Nakasaki and Killer Kowalski in 10:33, and Carlos Colon defeat Ken and Nakasaki by pinfall. Uh, Killer Kowalski 70, Ken and Nakasaki 54, Trevor Guerrero 46, Carlos Colon 52, Carlos and Killer Kowalski, um, Carlos in performance and Carlos game flying. A 62C, not bad. In a decent match, the Scuffin Hill Beliefs defeat the Black Jacks in 1504 when Chuck Connolly defeated Black Jack Lanza by Pinfall. Black Jack Mulligan 54, Black Jack Lanza 61, Rip Collins 52, Chuck Connolly 54, no record in 59C. In a superb match, Dusty Rhodes defeat Gwilla Monsoon in 1442 by Pinfall the Bonic Elbow. Dusty Rhodes 60, Gwilla Monsoon 70, no record in 68C. Plus. In a decent match, the Royal Trinity defeat the Dark Knights in 1521. When Dos Cars defeat Kurt Von Stryger by Pinfall the Quick Roll-Up, the Royal Trinity win the Wing of Honor Tag Team Charles in terms of ring work. Milner's Cars heads and shoulders over maps. Milner's Cars 69, Dos Cars 55, Kurt Von Stryger 47, Carl Von Strawheim 45. 
No work from so that is just so that these guys can complain tomorrow night on on the next episode. Do 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 do. do. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to record this because I'm going out tomorrow uh, all day. I've got being grand for them all day Wednesday. I've got a wedding on Sunday. Yay! I'm losing my mind. In a bad with this person, we're doing a cheap. Bill Francis, Jimmy Snooker, Jerry Joe. Defeat Biddy Graham, Kevin Sullivan, and Nico Volkoff in 10-16 when Snooker defeat Graham by Pimple the Superfly Splash. Jerry Jack 41, Jimmy Snooker 45, Bill Francis 39, Nicola Volkoff 42, Kevin Sullivan 40, and Billy Graham 46. Kevin Sullivan informs, Billy Graham informs, Jimmy Snooker informs, and Bill Francis informs. Well done, guys. Our main event of the evening is Ivan Koloff versus Bruno San Martino. In a superb match, Bruno San Martino defeated Ivan Koloff in 29-59 by Pimple the San Martino Slam. He makes the sense number 11 of his Ring of Honor Championship. Ivan Koloff 66, Bruno San Martino 73. Ivan Koloff in performance. That's where we end tonight's show with 68 C plus. Once again, as we showed you guys why we're increasing in so many places at once. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Point them all out. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Or tomorrow, when Impact Wrestling is hitting, is cutting up as we head towards Bound for Glory in that series. That's Impact Wrestling 19, 1987, Season 2. Or I'll see you for any other series all next week. If you're enjoying this one, we bring up on the wrestling. We'll be back next week with episode number... Four. I think we're on episode number 4 now, because I think we did 3. Nope, we did We did two episode 2 and 2 parts. So this will be episode number... Free, and I'll see you next week for episode number four if you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below.